With the start of a new year, many people have made new year's resolutions, and one of the biggest ones, apart from fitness, is finance. So in today's video, we'll be taking you step by step on how to open an investing account and how to get started investing telling you everything I wish I knew before I start investing. I have also left timestamps down below so you can skip to any part if need be. Okay, for step one, you need to pick a brokerage. Now, a brokerage is a place where you can buy stocks slash companies and then just collect them all together. For today's video, we'll be using Trading212 as that's the platform I personally use and recommend. However, I'll leave a list on screen now of different brokerage you could use. So just go on Google, look up which one would be right for you. Just be aware that the brokerage you pick is profitable, FCA regulated and fund protected. This way your money is then better protected. I have left the link in the description of this video for trading 2 on 2. If you use that link and deposit £1 on the platform, you will get a free share worth up to £100. So it's a great way to start your investing journey. So if you follow that link, it will take you to this page. Now some important things to know about Trading 2 on 2 and why I chose to invest with them is it's FCA regulated, the funds are protected up to 85,000, they are protected, fractional shares, and it has a lot of nice features and deals with a lot of clients money. On top of this, it has commission free investing for everyone with a variety of different accounts that we will go through. And if that wasn't enough, this is also now profitable, which other companies aren't. Now to get started, it's fairly simple. All you have to do is press open an account. Then it'll come up with this screen. You just pick what country you're from. So for me, it's United Kingdom. Now, unfortunately with Train212 at the minute, you do have to join a wait list if you want to use them. Um, it says here, due to unprecedented demand, we have had to pause account opening as we increase our capacity to serve more clients, delivering great services, our top priority. So if you want to use this company, just put in your email, submit, and then wait for a response. Alternatively, you can just use another investing platform. Just keep in mind the things I've mentioned already. Now, once you've been accepted, just follow the processes it gives you. It's very self-explanatory to open it up. However, there is one thing to note. In Train212, you have three different types of account. You have the Invest account, the ISA account, and the CFD account. Now, the CFD account is the trading side of things. The only ones we're concerned of, or I'll be going over in this video, is the ISA and the Invest account. Now, for someone starting out, I highly recommend using the ISA account as you invest tax-free. You can put in £20,000 a year into this account completely tax-free. If you still have money left over after investing £20,000, you can just open the Invest account and put money also in there. It really doesn't matter. But the priority is the ISA account as the tax advantages are just incredible. Great! You have officially now completed step one. Step two. Understand how people actually make money in the stock market. Okay, so there's two main ways to make money in the stock market. You have growth, e.g. when the stock price goes up, buy low, sell high. The next way is by dividends. Now, dividends are given to you by a company as sort of like a thank you for holding the stock. Not all companies will pay a dividend and each company will pay a different amount. Now, most stocks, which is just a fancy word for a company, will grow. That is the main reason for a business. They want to grow, they want to make more money, and that is why they exist. Newer and more exciting companies like Tesla, Neo, these will grow a lot more than things like McDonald's or very established companies. So I'd highly recommend you look around, find out what one you gravitate towards more if you're into the growth or you want the dividend passive income, or you can do both. The choice is really up to you, it's personal finance. Making your first investment can be very daunting. <coughs> There's just so many options out there. You'll be scrambling, you don't know which one is right, you don't want to lose your hard earned money. But don't worry, let me break it down for you. Now another great thing you can do is use Trading212's practice account. This account will give you 50,000, all fake money, not real money, that you can then use and learn how the system works. You can play around, see what investments you like and just get a feel for investing before you put your hard earned money in. Now the second best thing you can do and we kind of touched on it a little bit is choose what investor you want to be. Whether you want growth, passive income, a mixture or you want to keep it more simple. If you can figure this out early, you'll save yourself a lot of heartache and you'll be able to be a more intelligent investor. 
If you need help in this, I've made a whole video dedicated to trying to find out what type of investor you are, and I'll leave a card up there now. It's called How to Find Winning Stocks That Will Make You Money. And while we're here, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a future video. So I suggest you watch that video after this one so you can broaden your knowledge on investing and get the best start possible. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I'll be showing you how to add one ETF, one growth stock and one dividend stock so you can just see what to look for in each of them and how to go about it. So once you've created an account and opened up, it'll look something like this. Okay, so I'm on the mobile app of Train212 now. So you have a few sections at the bottom. I'm on the home page, symbolized by the house. Next to it, you have this like pie. That will show you all the investments you have. Then you have the search feature, which you can just search for everything. Then you have sort of a community section. You can copy people's pies if you want to do that, so you don't have to make one yourself. And then you also have like settings and whatnot for you to use. So from the home page, you can see that there's a section at the top that says new on trading 2 on 2 ETFs. There's some more and more too, and they're just ones that I've made. Just ones to keep an eye on if I was going to add them or not. But as I said, we'll add an ETF and I'll show you how to do that now. So we've clicked on the ETFs at the top, so ETFs. And then we've got Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. Now this is one of the best you can get um, as a beginner or even as an advance to be honest most people have a really hard time beating this and this is what's known as the market so whenever you hear people say oh did you beat the market that's what they're referring to is the s p 500 now the s p 500 is just a collection of the top 500 companies in the usa they'll hold things like apple microsoft tesla and like i said there's a lot lot more this is known as diversification, so if one of those goes bad, all the rest are there to back it up. So if you now click on this, you can see that from I'm from the UK, so this is in Great British Pounds. I'll convert it to US dollars for your convenience. So you can see here it's worth £65.40. And, and you can see it has like a graph. So right now we're in the max view. You have the one year view, the three month view, one month one week and one day now if we go to the mac view we can see that since the start of this it's gone up 165.88 percent and in the last year it's gone up 22.95 percent now it sort of averages about 10 percent a year but we just had an amazing year so maybe the trend will start going up who knows or maybe we'll have a correction and go back down who knows so when you click on any one of these you'll get a list so it says my investment because i am actually invested into this obviously for you it won't say that so it shows you what i've got there and in the etfs there's really not much information with the stocks there is you can click on history to see when you've bought how much you've bought the dividends you've received and whatnot instrument details shows you ticker symbols and other information and then you've got key information documents so when you want to buy the big blue buy button can't miss it press it now you'll have two options here you can change the value into number of shares if you want or you can put it as value i always like doing value because i don't have loads of money at the minute so i'm just using that and then at the top you see market limit stop and stop limit now these will ignore for this video they're a bit more advanced i'll probably dedicate a separate video to them but we just want the market so say if we wanted one share we would have to pay 65.457 that is what one share is worth however this company or this trading tool or two offers rational shares so you could put in 20 pound and then it would show you how much that share would equivalent to 0 0.305 of a share alternatively if you want 100 in there you'd get 1.528 shares now it's highlighted red there because i don't have the funds in my account so all you have to do is head over to the left side of that number with that flashing little money press that and it'll come up with select payment method you can use a ton there's bank transfers you can use apple pay it's really simple add the funds and you're good to go when you've then bought that stock it'll appear in the pie section so that's just next to that house button next to the pie and it will be under your investment so you can see i've got quite a few here listed and the s p is down the bottom and you can see i've got a five percent return on that so you can see i've stopped putting money in that 
as I'm now saving all my money for this next business that I'm planning to start. Okay, so now I'll show you how to add a growth company or stock. So go back over to the house symbol. Alternatively, you can just use a search function if you know what you're looking for. So we head over to popular, just an easy one to go on, and we can see Tesla, nice growth company. We'll pick that, and again, you can see the graph view. So you can see the max, the year, and we can see in the past year it's went up 25.82% and max has gone up 5,189%. Now, this company, because it's USA based, is represented in dollars. So you can see $1,027, that's what one share is going to cost you. So you can see with a growth company, or no, with a stock, sorry, you can see a lot more details. You'll have company details, we'll show you what the company does. You have a few breakdowns, you've got key ratios, you can click on all ratios, we'll show you a lot, lot more. All of this stuff you'll need to look at when doing stock analysis. If you want help doing that, I have videos dedicated on my channel to showing different stock breakdowns. Alternatively, if you have a stock um, that you want me to analyse, I could probably do that. So you have financial summary, a great place to look, income statements, balance sheets and cash flow. Like I said, all things you'll have to look at when analysing a company to see if it's worth putting your hard earned money into. So again, you go up to the top, press that big buy button, and this time it's on number of shares, so we'll leave it as that just to show you. So if I click one, it'll convert it into British pounds, because that's where I'm from. So 757 pounds is worth 1,027 US dollars. Again, I don't have the funds in my account, all you need to do is just add it, done. Now this again would show up into your invest, that pie feature there, that pie symbol, sorry. And then you'll see it in here, but obviously I don't have it in my account. So I'll just show you things like Apple. Now this segues into the next part as well with dividends. So Apple is a company that does pay a dividend. So if you scroll down, you'll see in the key ratio segment, dividend yield. Now dividend yield, is not listed on all things so if it says that then it pays a dividend in this regard it pays quite a low dividend 0.58 percent whereas other companies like AT&T they pay a much higher dividend of 8.34 percent now you just have to be careful with higher dividends doesn't always mean they're riskier some sectors just pay more in dividends the usual safe is between or five and below but obviously there's variations and all this. So you should have to do your due diligence and be an intelligent investor. So great, you now know how to open an invest account and how to invest into it. Step four, tips and tricks and things to bear in mind. So now I have a trick and a great thing with trading two on two is the pie feature. Now, when you scroll up to the top, you'll see investments and next to it, the pies. Now setting up a pie, is very very crucial in my opinion it takes a lot of the emotions out of investing and emotions in the investing game is what will kill you when people see their money going down and in the red most people will panic sell and that is when you've really done it just remember even if this thing says you're red even if you're down by a lot you don't lose the money unless you sell so all you have to do is be patient if you've done your due diligence and done it right from the start you'll be okay as you can see with my portfolio it's only recently where it's been in the green a lot you go down and it's all negative 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 like it was only recently that i've managed to actually keep it in the green and do you know why because i used the pie feature i took my emotions out and as you can see here i have two pies my etf pie and my dividend pie so the dividend pie you can see that is a collect you can go on holdings and it will collect all my stocks and companies that i'm like putting money into you can see an overview so the value of that pie the cash there is how much dividends i've received i've got dividends reinvested on so any money you receive from a company will be auto reinvested another great way to just leave it and gain and snowball that compound effect you can set a goal at the bottom if you want so i did for 2k i reached it so i've set it for 3k now just little wins little wins is what will get you to where you want to be in the holding section you can also set the weight weighting of your stock so if you were to edit you can see i've got all mine set at five percent 
So this way, I'm not over leveraged in one company and under leveraged in another. Again, that's diversification. Many people have different opinions about how many stocks you should own. Another thing to the right of that is all invest. You could put that on and that will invest automatically, same time, each month or whatever. So you can turn it on, press the cog button, and there you go. You can see a value projection of this account. Obviously, it's not accurate because year over year, everything changes. But here I have £300 a month invested on the second of every month. Over 40 years, it said it would grow to 6.9 million with 143.8k being contributed that's just the power of the compact effect and that is what's showing you there just know that this would not be an actual realistic number there's many factors considered into this that will change this number so to recap them tips one don't panic sell just hold the longer you hold as you can see from my portfolio living proof it's in the green now and the longer I've hold it in there the more it's gone up the deeper my roots have gone the stronger my foundations have become the more intelligent I've become as an investor all these things play a part the second thing is to create a pie and this will then take the emotion out of what you're doing and just any money you invest be comfortable to lose that is a possibility is very much can happen and it has happened you can see in mine if i'd have sold it'd been red if you really need that money do not let the stock market be the thing to save you and the last thing i would say is it's okay to be nervous like all of us started at the same place i had the same fears as probably you have now i had no idea what investing was how to do it i literally just signed up for that trading two on two because i saw free share and my original thing was like, I could have just sold that and made some free cash. That was literally it. But then I got into it, I learned more. I got, I just got sucked down the rabbit hole. But we live in a day and age now where we have the internet. Anything can be learned. Now, this does come with a downside though. There is a lot of opinions out there, a lot of wrong information, a lot of scams and whatnot. And if you're not intelligent about this, you can get sucked into it. People will promise you high returns. They'll keep saying other things. At the end of the day, a lot of people just want to boost their own monetary value. They don't care about if who gets hurt. So they might hype you into a stock and it could crash. If you don't know when to sell out, it's pump and dump schemes. That's what they're known of. And these are things that can trick you out. But just do your due diligence. Listen to the right people. If it sounds too good to be true, normally it is. And if you need help with anything in your investing journey, you can ask me, ask anyone in the forums, comment down below, people will help you. And finally, for step six, hold to the moon. Hold, hold. Like I said, if you're in red, don't sell. You're most likely gonna go up if you've picked the right stock. I'll show you now the compound interest calculator just to show you how powerful it is to hold your money and leave it to grow. Compound interest has been called the eighth wonder of the world and it's really clear to see why here. Okay, so I've just come on to an investing calculator to show you the compound interest effect. Now I've got the starting amount 2000 and I've got after 20 years rate of return around 10% compounded annually and additional contributions of £300 a month obviously you could do a lot more than this I'm just showing you even with this amount you can get quite a lot of money so I've calculated this and you can see the breakdown here so total contributions your interest the basically the how much money your investments have made you makes more than your total contributions and that is when it becomes powerful when your interest makes you more money than you can actually put in is when it skyrockets so you can see here after 20 years your end balance would be 230,000 total contributions of 72,000 and you've got total interest which is just the free money your account has made you of 156,000 you've done nothing for that except put it in however if you change this to 4 years You've let that compound take more effect you see this curve go up even more and you can see now your interest has basically encompassed your entire thing your total contributions have only been 144,000 in your 
pretty much your lifetime there. The amount of money your stocks have made you has gone up substantially and that's what you're left with. Again, if you're more aggressive and put a lot more money in per month, if you put a thousand in per month, then you'll obviously end up with a lot higher. And this just then goes more. And then the younger you start, if you do it for 50 years, again, the more money you'd have. That's why the earlier you can start, the best it is for you. And that is the power of the compound effect right there. And that's it. Congratulations to you if you stuck through this video and have decided to start investing in yourself, getting your finances in order and just becoming the best version you can possibly be. That is what I strive for, that is what this channel is about. So if you're a part of that, subscribe, like all that stuff and that's what will grow. Investing is a very exciting and rewarding journey. If you can stick to it, just learn as you go and you'll be okay. And as Lao Tzu said, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step and you have took that step today. So check out all the links in the description, especially the train 2121 to get you a free share, get you jump started on that train and I'll catch you in a bit. Peace out. Tell me that you love me